Hey friends, before you go on that green card interview with your spouse, watch this video. I'm going to share with you what goes on behind the scenes and my five tips on how to get through this interview with your spouse. I'm Latoya McBean Pompey, an immigration lawyer in New York, working with clients nationwide at McBean Law, where we believe that freedom is now. Contact us friends if you need help with your immigration case. Before you go today, do me the favor and subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell. Now let's talk about the marriage green card interview process. And in this video, I'm specifically speaking about cases that are being processed here in the United States through adjustment of status. Now, the green card interviews are still being waived for spouses. For some of our clients, we're getting their cases approved without an interview, but for others, they're being called in. Some folks are being called back in. These interviews are typically interviewed and they last anywhere from 15 minutes to even an hour. For most couples, they're interviewed together. For some others, very few, they're separated, okay? You walk in there together and then they separate you and interview maybe the petitioner first and then they'll call in the beneficiary second. Lastly, for most cases, the government is looking for those gotcha moments. They want to catch people in lies, misrepresentations, fraud. They're looking for that. So be super, super alert to the fact that that's what they're looking for during this interview. Now let's talk about my five tips on how to get through this interview. First of all, inconsistencies. Be careful about inconsistent responses because an inconsistent response can actually make your case become more complicated and lengthier and you really don't want that. So before your interview friends, you've got to prepare. You've got to sit down and go through some of the basic things that are in your applications, that are on the forms, basic things about your relationship, your marriage, your home life. Just refresh your memory on all of those details that are really important to immigration so that you will avoid these inconsistencies. Now, if you do have some inconsistent statements or responses, I should say, you'll have an opportunity to clear up those inconsistencies at the interview. If you have a lawyer present with you at the interview, the lawyer will be the person to catch the inconsistencies and can offer an opportunity for you guys to clear it up so that the record is clean and clear. If you attend your interview without a lawyer, you may or may not know that your spouse gave an inconsistent response. The only way that you'll know is if the officer, and they're supposed to do this, if the officer gives you an opportunity to clear things up. Typically, they're supposed to call you both back in together and say, okay, he said this, she said that, please explain yourself. They're supposed to do that, okay? So for most people, they will get an opportunity to clear up the inconsistency. Number two, some immigration officers are actually really nice people and they want to help you, but others are not. Others are very serious about the fact that fraud is part of the marriage process and they see a lot of fraud and so they're on high alert for it. You'll walk into that interview, they will probably be very cold, very harsh, pretty stoic in their appearance. Do not allow the mood of that officer to interfere with how you're feeling and how you're going to be performing that day. Just expect anything, right? Right from that person. Expect the person to be happy, sad, angry, whatever the case might be. It doesn't matter to you. You know that whatever that person is feeling that day or however they are towards you that day will bounce right off you. You do not care. Do not let it throw you off. Don't be discouraged if you get someone who is mean or sharp and abrupt and rude. Just expect that. Expect anything on that day so that when it happens, you will be prepared for it. Do not think that, okay, because this person is being really nice to me, we're doing extremely well, I'm going to get my green card, things are good. Don't be deceived by that either because we have seen how some officers will appear very nice and tell you things like, okay, you did well today, it looks good. And then next thing you know, folks are waiting for more than a year to hear back from the the government only to get a notice of intent to deny the case. Do not allow that officer's disposition and appearance and mood and attitude impact you. Just be prepared for your interview. Number three, be sure to have all 
documents that are required of you that day, have it with you. Because if you don't have all of the documents that they're requiring from you, it will slow down your case. You will get a request for evidence and that will surely slow down your case. Now be sure to read your interview notice very carefully because in it, it will tell you to bring your original document and then bring copies of those original documents. You want to be certain that you have those copies because if you don't have the copies, they're going to take away your original document and then you'll be without that marriage certificate or that birth certificate or whatever that original document is, they're going to take it away from you if you do not have copies. They're not going to give you the opportunity on the spot to go make copies. And as a matter of fact, for some people, they show up to immigration building, so to speak. If you're there and you do not have copies of your passport and all these other original documents, Go ahead before your interview and make those copies, okay? Number four, expect some nerves. Expect that you're going to feel some butterflies that day because this is an incredibly important interview. Both of you will feel some nerves because no one likes to be interviewed, right? You've got to, I would say, role play. Just go through some scenarios together, watch some YouTube videos about how to prepare for the interview, and role play on the day. You'll feel a little bit more relaxed, but when the nerves do come, don't allow the nerves to throw you off. Stay level-headed, breathe, take a moment before answering the questions, and then just feel that sense of confidence kick in. It will kick in. Once you start talking, it will kick in. And then number five, expect that the government will be suspecting fraud, marriage fraud. But with this suspicion, don't allow that suspicion to throw you off. Expect that some of the questions will appear like, you're in a bad marriage. You're in a fake marriage, as a matter of fact. You're going to get that feeling. It's an icky feeling, especially for those of you who are going into this with a genuine marriage. You don't want to be put on the spot like you're doing something wrong. And this, I've seen this happen to U.S. citizen petitioners or green card holder petitioners. They're flabbergasted. They're really surprised at the idea of being made to feel like a criminal, like they're doing something wrong. But for some people during this interview, it could feel that way. But don't allow that feeling to throw you off. Just expect them to think that you're in a fake marriage and you show them, demonstrate that you're not. You have your documents to prove that you're in a genuine marriage. You have your story to prove that you're in a genuine marriage and you have what it takes to answer the questions correctly and consistently because you are in a genuine marriage. So don't allow that suspicion to make you feel like you're doing something wrong. Now, guys, I hope these tips are helpful helpful to you. Be sure to comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Also for more free tips from us and free information, free guides. I do have a free download on how to prepare for your marriage green card interview. You could go ahead and click the link below in the description, I should say, and get that free download. You could also go to mcbeanlaw.com forward slash free, where you will find that download in addition to other information. Guys, thanks so much for watching this video and I will see See you in the next one. Bye-bye.